Hi, I'm Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes, and I was wondering, what would heat faster on an induction cooktop? A ceramic lined pot or a stainless steel lined one? Now, I don't have every one made to test them all, but I do have a ceramic lined one and a stainless steel one to test out, and I think you'll find the results interesting. So here I have two Dutch oven size pots, one has a ceramic lining and one is stainless steel. Now the one that has ceramic lining it is a new wave it has their Dorlon lining on the inside and it's part of their pot set. The stainless steel one I can't read the name of the maker but you can read it there for yourself and uh, I picked that up at Costco if you're wondering where I got it from. Now I'm going to basically do a similar test of both. I'm not going to have the lids on them because they have different types of lids and I don't want to impact the quality of the test by using different lids on the pots. They are basically the same size. I think that uh, they're almost, they're as equal for the set of pots, these two sets of pots as I could find of all the pots. The new wave is basically in size, I mean maybe, maybe not even a centimeter, maybe taller. So very similar in the diameter of the pots. They're exactly the same all the way around. So these two pots are as similar as I could get. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the new wave on here, the ceramic line pot, on the new wave induction cooktop. I will use the same new wave induction cooktop for all my testing and I will give it plenty of time to cool down between tests. But we got the pot there and I'm going to take a couple cups of water and pour them in. And I wanted to give you a view directly inside the pot and here's two cups of water and pouring it in straight off the tap. I think a few drops may have spilled off to the side, but that's okay. I think this will give us a clear enough picture after you see how things perform with the stainless steel versus this. And so I'm going to hit the max sear and start. And we're going to let that run and I'll let you just watch it till it boils. So the water has started to show some small bubbles some steam but it is not at a good roaring, roaring boil yet so I'm going to let it keep going. Alright so I think we got a good respectable boil going now so you see the time on the screen for how long it took to get to a really good roaring boil and I think that that's pretty decent so we're going to go ahead and stop this test now because we've reached our goal of a good roaring boil and we saw it kind of get started and then really get going really hot. So that's pretty good and what I'm going to do I'm going to stop it and I'm going to let things totally cool when I bring you back I'll have the stainless steel pot on we'll do the same test but it's going to take a good while because I'm going to let this thing totally cool. So things have totally cooled down now I have the stainless steel pot on and pouring in two cups of water. So there we go, two cups of water, and we again hit the max sear and start. Let's see what happens. Now we see just seconds have passed and I'm already seeing water bubbling on the bottom, just after seconds. And so we're going to let this keep going. Now we already have bubbles and steam coming up. Things have already started reaching that boiling point. I'm going to let it keep going though, let it get to that full roaring boil. But we see things are already basically moving along pretty well. Alright, it seems we've got a pretty solid boil going on now. Things are basically rolling, rolling along pretty good. It's getting to a good roar with that boil. So, we see how things heated up with the stainless steel and so that looks pretty good I'm just gonna let this go for another moment 
you can see it's really, really roaring pretty good now. It's pretty good roaring of oil. And that's pretty cool. So I think we've reached a really, you know, really solid boil, but things came along pretty good with the stainless steel, and I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there. So let me know what you thought about the outcome in a comment. I hope that you did like this video in the video description. There are lots of ways to help the channel, such as my cookbook, links to my Amazon shop where you can buy all types of different things, including things you saw here. Also, there's like donations and merch as well. And if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe, hit that notification icon, and good eating.